a legacy of deceit, pork, and cynicism. Now, it sounds like the old Liberal sponsorship scandal, but it's the editorial pages commenting on the behaviour of the new Treasury Board President. This member has abused the public trust and he must come clean. So will he explain to this House how he managed to divert $50 million from border infrastructure payments, put it into a private slush fund, and can he explain why the Auditor General was unable to find any evidence of oversight or documentation to explain this outrageous spending <coughs> spree? I just don't know where to begin with uh, that question. Just about everything the member opposite has said is not the case. Uh, here's uh, what happened uh, with respect to the G8 Legacy Fund. We supported 32 public infrastructure projects. Every single dollar uh, is accounted for uh, to move expeditiously. Uh, the Public Service recommended using this fund so that we could use existing authorities to move quickly. I accepted uh, that recommendation. The Auditor General has suggested uh, that we need greater transparency and greater accountability. And there's no argument from me and no argument from this government. We fully accept uh, the great work that the Auditor General has done on this issue. Well, Mr. Speaker, it's not good enough that the member is hiding behind the verbosity of the member for Ottawa West Nepean. If he can't stand up and explain this $50 million spending spree, then he has no business being a Treasury Board. This government promised to do politics different. Instead, we have the spectacle of three amigos divvying up pork barrel slush funds, and he can't stand up in this House and produce any evidence or any documentation that could have stopped this outrageous Muskoka gravy train. To the member opposite to read the report of the uh, Auditor General. He speaks about a committee of three people making decisions with respect to public infrastructure. In fact, that is not the case. Uh, none of the decisions with respect to the 32 projects that was approved by that or any uh, that committee or any of the three individuals that served on it. Right. The Honourable Member for Rosemont.